Hi, my name is Erin. Welcome to the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art for Cooped Up with the Carter. I wanted to take a minute with you today to look at this painting by William Merritt Chase. It's called Idle Hours. Let's take a minute to look carefully at the work of art and notice that we are in a beautiful seaside moment and take a minute to look at the group of people that are gathered here. What do you see? So we have a group of women and young girls gathered together, just relaxing at the shore during the day. Um, looks like a, a bright sunny afternoon that's about to get interrupted by a rainstorm. What kinds of activities do you notice here? If you zoom into the lady in the red hat, you can see that she's reading a book. There's a little girl with a red pail lying back, looking up at the sky, maybe taking a little snooze. And a woman looking off into the distance with a green umbrella, enjoying her afternoon breeze. It sounds like something I'd like to do this afternoon. All right, well, what we know about this is that the artist was probably painting his wife and children here at the seashore, at the seashore where he was teaching a summer, um, a summer course. And so this is indeed a day where everyone is, is relaxing and enjoying their time together. I hope you are as well. Have a great day and enjoy your time with your family. Alrighty, now I'm going to share a poem with you from this really wonderful book by Caroline Kennedy, Poems to Learn by Heart. Now, as we read this poem, we're gonna think about Idle Hours by William Merritt Chase. Now, the name of the poem I'm gonna to read today is The Dream Keeper by Langston Hughes. Now, listen carefully to this. Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. Now listen to it one more time. Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. Now who's talking to us in this poem? Yeah, the dream keeper. And what is the dream keeper asking us to do? Yeah, the dream keeper is wanting us to keep all of our dreams safe, keeping them wrapped up in a nice soft cloth away from all of those rough fingers that might ruin some of our dreams. Now think about your dreams. Do you have any special dreams while we're on break? Think about them and maybe you can save them in a very special place too.